Greetings gamers, GHG here, we're back to play some ARK and I am on a new server. I wanted to continue where I left off on the first video, but alas, I was killed over and over again. So I talked to a couple of my fellow content creators here on YouTube and they said the only way to do it is being in a tribe. Because once you die, you're randomly respawning and you lose everything. Uh, I had uh, to rebuild our little thatch hut twice and both times I died. Uh, once by a player just being a player and once by a dinosaur just being a dinosaur. Ah, we have morning music. The sun is just coming up on this beautiful server. It's a private server for the uh, organization on Star Citizen called Overdrive. Uh, I'm sure they deal with other games as well. Uh, my buddy WTF Asaurus and uh, Proxus invited me to this server. Password protected. It's still PvP, but they're going to focus more on in-game PvP, I believe. So I have a bed to respawn in over there at that uh, base that you saw me walking from in the beginning. And I came over to this direction here and started my own little place. I'm going to uh, level my character up on my own. I'm going to try to... Uh, whoops, not going to get up that way. I'm going to try to uh, work it like a single-player survival. And if I do run into some serious problems, or if I want to do something like tame a T-Rex or a Brontosaurus, uh, I'm going to need a tribe to do that. So I told him I'm, I'm going to stay out of their way. I'm going to come over here in the woods. Uh, I started a little house up, and then I got attacked by a dinosaur that's bigger than a raptor, but smaller than a T-Rex. It looks like it has horns, and it starts with a C. I'm not sure what it was called, but it was absolutely terrifying, and it killed me so fast. It was the, like one of the fastest dinosaurs I've seen in-game yet. So... We're going to head on over to the house. I believe it is over in this direction. Man, these woods are so massive that sometimes it's just really tough not to lose your way. And it, there's so much to look at as well. You know, you have all the dinosaurs and the foliage, and sometimes I get lost just looking. This game is really beautiful, and it's very early release. You know, it's, it's going to do nothing but get better. So, I mean, look at this. Oh, my God. Let's go over here. Did you see that? Look at this. Stegosaurus tromping through the forest with the sun gleaming through the trees. Absolutely beautiful. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to collect a, a little bit of wood and uh, so I can make a few tools because I lost all my tools. And then I will show you the new house. All right, got my tools all set up. We're going to come back over here so I can show you the, uh, the new homestead that I'm building. It's a little different than our first one. It's not going to be a little tiny... Uh, Oh, Oh, we got to fight. Oh, hey, that's that damn dinosaur that killed me right there. What is that, two turtles? Oh, man, is he going to kill the turtles? Don't kill the turtles. Go help, Triceratops. I mean, if I wasn't just in my underwear, I would totally help you, dudes. Oh, man. Oh, yes. The turtles kicked his ass. Yes! Oh, that is it. The horned damn... A Carno. Carno? Carnosaurus? I guess? You son of a bitch, you. Oh, look what he's... <gasps> Holy crap! Pants and a couple slingshots. Couple shirts. Yes! It looked like there was a damn gun in there. Woohoo! Meat, meat, meat. Hide, meat. Yes. This is for killing me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what? What happened? <gasps> I killed the turtle! Spitter! Spitter! Ah! And the turtle hates me now! I, dude, I didn't mean to kill your buddy! Oh, shit, 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 shit! I apologize, I did not mean to kill your buddy! Oh, I killed the turtle! I so didn't mean to kill the turtle. Here's my house, but I have no walls, I have nothing. I gotta kill the spitter, at least. Where's he at? Where's he at? Okay. I think... Th okay, the music stopped. Does that mean they, they're not going to kill me now? Oh, I can't believe I killed the freaking turtle. I apologize if I yelled. Oh, I can't believe I killed the turtle. He went through all that. Killed the Carnosaurus, and then I killed... Oh, and then his mate tried to kill me. Oh, okay, so... Here's a bed that I got from the Overdrive uh, Guild House over there, or Tribe House, I should say. Um, 
They said I was welcome to take a few things if I'd like. So this way I can spawn right here in my house if I die. This is going to help things immensely. And I'm still going to learn the recipe. Uh, let's do GHG's hut. That'll work. That way I can tell on the map. And then I have a storage box as well. And I'll also learn the recipe for that. So it's not like, I mean, I just don't want to be like uh, cheating. You know, I want this to be kind of like a, a single player, like I'm, you know, surviving on my own. But this is going to help. It's just, it, it really is a bitch to get into the game as far as I got a few times. And then you just get attacked, you know? So I have a lot of thatch. This hundred uh, hide here came off of a dead body I found uh, earlier. So I think I'm going to take that to the guild house and give it to the guild. I don't know if it was a uh, an overdrive guild member or not. I didn't even check. I, I feel shitty about that. But I'll give it I'll give it to the guild anyway. I might use a few pieces of it. But I got some arrows, another pick. Man, I got a, three pickaxes now, an extra slingshot. Oh, man. That uh, Carnosaur had all kinds of stuff. That was absolutely awesome. A sign? We'll have to put a sign out in front of the house, maybe? Put some clothes on. Oh, man, I'm feeling like I'm a... Uh, I'm settling right down here. So the house here, as you can tell, I built the thatch around the tree. Man, I, I don't want to go over there. I was going to go skin that... <gasps> oh... <laughs> I guess that's a good or a kind turtle. I think that other turtle over there is the one that probably wants to kill me. I think if I go back... Oh! Hey, buddy. You want to take a nap? Oh, gosh. I I still feel horrible about killing the turtle. I didn't mean to kill the turtle. Oh, oh well. All right, so, so let's see. What do we need? Okay, so I'm going to need some more supplies to get some uh, walls and all up, so... I'm probably going to cut the video in here, and then I will uh, come back after I get some more supplies. Alright, so I collected up some wood, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from the house, kind of sporadically go through. Oh, look at that tree. It's like three trees in one. Definitely don't want to cut that down. But uh, I want to keep the woods around the house nice and thick, keep it a very nice natural look. So first thing we want is walls, and I do want to do it, I think, two walls high for the back part of the house and maybe just one wall high for the front. Uh, add a little shape to it so it's not just a big square. Let's see here. Get my walls, bring them down. Yeah, I don't need that sign right now. I'll do the sign later. And let's get started. So thatch is your beginning material, and it's it's a lot tougher than what you would think it is. Um, it would take a player quite a while to, to dig through it. And then once you have wood walls, it's amazingly uh, strong. And that's when you really need the big guns and dinosaurs to get through it. Uh, dinosaurs play a, a huge part of this game. It's not just for the beauty factor, which it is beautiful, but um, as far as collecting and traveling and fighting you really need a dinosaur because it's much easier to have your dinosaur attacking what you're attacking uh, you can wipe through two or three dinosaurs oh little level up there very nice we'll do that level up later I gotta turn this volume down just a tad I know it looks like I'm turning it up but uh, you have to go back in and save it every time you re-log into the game, or it's at standard levels. Or it was. I hope it's still like that. So let's see. We'll get these walls up. I'll feel a tad safer. And then uh, they have rules on this server that if you uh, ha if someone's in the house and they're sleeping, you don't mess with them. You don't go through their inventory. And uh, that's really cool, especially for what I'm doing. Now, I know on a, a hardcore PvP server, you're just crap out of luck. You know, you... You fall asleep, someone's going to go through your pockets and then kill you. But not necessarily in that order. But hey, let's, let's you know, you got to admit, that's what this game is all about. It is a PvP survival. Beautiful. There's our first layer of walls. Good to go. We just need our 
door frame and a door what am I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to go in that. Let's see. Door frame. And... Oh. Needed fiber. Okay. Yep. Do I want to go ahead and make the extra walls now? I think... I think I do. Oh, well, I'm making one now. <laughs> I just hit the hotkey, and if you don't have any, it'll craft it for you if you don't, so... Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Uh, there we go. Right-clicking gets rid of the object you're trying to set. Oops. One more time here. Where is my door frame? There she blows. And then my door. All right. It's time to lock this place down. Boom. And boom. Nice. Our thatch hut. Three by three. So much nicer than that first one we made. Got plenty of room. Now, I want to go up with the walls in the back back here. And then it would be nice to have a roof as well. Roofs, roofs tend to be nice. Tell you what, let's go ahead and... Oh! I just made another door. Damn it! I forgot I took the wall out. <laughs> okay, so I have an extra door in case I want to use that. Let's see. Roofs, walls... Go ahead and make okay, six. Yeah, we'll leave it about there. We'll see. Let's see how far that gets us. The good thing is, all you need is an axe in your hands, and you can make thatch walls all day long. Especially in a forest like this, you never run out of wood or thatch. So this is my idea here for the back of the house. Now, when you get into the second level of storage containers, you have to have a too high wall. It's a large armoire, almost, which is very fancy for a thatch hut, but they hold a lot more than these little storage crates down here. All right, so I think I want it this way here. Now, I need to put a wall here, here, no, no, up against, yeah, here. Ah, uh, just like that. No, no, just like that, but up just like this. But, you know, I might need to put a roof on. I bet you if I put a roof on, then I could set the wall on top of the roof or ceiling. Excuse me. Yes. Let me go here. Oh, there you go. Is that it? Wait. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So. Now we can put the. Oh. Oh. It, it snapped in. I saw it snap in. Let's go around to this side. Boom. Yes. Oh, it's backwards. Ah. Oh. Yep, it's backwards. That's okay. Ah! This is why I needed a roof. Dang it. And now I'm getting rained on. Oh, well, you know what? It'll fill my hydration up. So that'll work. So I'll have a couple gaps up here. And I don't think I mind that too much, to tell you the truth. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to put one here. I didn't think so. But that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. You know, it it can have a gap. We'll just put a roof up, and when it rains, it'll just rain around that tree. Oh, and it'll water the roots, so that'll be absolutely fine. We'll go with that. All right, what am I missing here? Uh, 
Crapola. Alright, so we're going to call it right there, guys, and I'm going to go collect some more stuff, and then we will get this uh, little hut finished up. So thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you guys later.